Welcome back to another video on precision farming and today we're going to have a look to see if mulching and rolling have an effect still. Let's roll the intro and get to work. So what we have got in today's video is I am going to be uh, harvesting, reseeding, reharvesting this field three times. Um, so currently we have the field that was limed, ploughed, seeded and fertilised. And now we're harvesting it and we'll see how much we're going to get off of this. And then we're going to mulch it, lime, plough, seed, fertilise, see how much we get. And then we're going to mulch, lime, plough, seed, roll, fertilise and see how much we get and see if it makes a difference. Now, I know from playing base game and doing tests in base game, these will make a very small difference. They are not huge factors, but they're things that you can do. So we're gonna see what happens with them with precision farming. So we have the lizard mulcher because it's quick and pretty big. So we can get through this job fairly quickly and uh, get this field mulched. This is an edit of the uh, case that Giants released to run on electricity because we're an environmentally friendly farm here. Or we're trying to be. So that's the field mulch. We need to do the rest now. So we need to lime it, plough it, seed it, fertilise it, and then I'll be back to harvest it. And here we are, ready to harvest. You can see that we've got a predicted yield now of 89 out of 89%. Um, but there was a little bit of a room there for more improvement. Um, this should yield 5.8 tons per hectare and we can get up to 5.9 so we are probably going to get a bit more off of here and then maybe a bit more when we roll so but we'll wait and see see what happens so i've yet to really get stuck into precision farming so still doing testing and waiting to add it to save so i'm about to add it to my greenland save so we'll start using it on there and get more to grips with it and you learn more playing with it so, so we had 5624 off of there that was a pretty nice boost compared to the 5486 liters we had from the baseline case so let's get this field re-prepped so again we need to mulch it and then lime plow seed roll and fertilize Okay, so we are now ready to harvest. We've got our maximum there of 5.9 tons per hectare out of 5.9 tons per hectare. Um, so getting the results up on the screen because you don't need to watch me harvest this a third time. Um, we got an increase between the first and the second field of about two and a half percent. So we went up from 5,486 to 5,624. It's quite a nice boost in yield there, definitely worth doing. Um, and then when I rolled on top of that, we got a little bit more. We got another one percent-ish gain. Um, those numbers are sort of in line with what I expect from doing mulching and rolling. The mulching on bonus was actually better than I expected. So definitely worth doing if you're using precision farming. Um, I've in the past have skipped mulching, now probably gonna do it because it gives you a nice bonus. And uh, rolling I've always done because the game map says needs rolling and that bugs me. So yeah, mulching and rolling does indeed still have an effect with precision farming. Oh, instead of changing the nitrogen, it gives you a yield boost. So definitely still worth doing. I hope you found this video useful and uh, somewhat entertaining so I copy mr cdp there if you did enjoy the video hit the like button leave a comment if you're not already please subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and i'll catch you next time on fs22